The city of Jacksonville's downtown area has seen significant changes over the course of its history. It was the hub of activity in Onslow County for many years, the primary area for shopping and banking. As downtown grew, so did the city, and the need for a new city hall building arose. In 1956, a new city hall building was dedicated. The auditorium would be used to host school dances and other public events. Jacksonville continued to grow and eventually City Hall was relocated, but it remained in the downtown area. The police and fire departments were in need of a large space of their own, and the 1956 City Hall building became their headquarters. That building, which is now nearly 60 years old, has posed significant challenges for Jacksonville's civil servants. Even in 2009, the building was nearing the end of its useful life, and Public Safety Director Mike Yanero was tasked with overcoming some difficult problems. There's a number of issues, but the basic problem is, is we just don't have enough space. Evidence is so important in our, in our particular uh, discipline. And right now we're storing it in six different locations. We are processing evidence in a hallway. We are using every available space that we have. We have people that are in hallways, secretarial staff, officers are working in hallways. The building itself was falling apart. The mortar is coming out, the roof the roof is, is old, the windows are, are need to be replaced. There's a number of issues that are causing us to have water problems. And in one particular evidence room, it required us to put plastic around, uh, around the evidence to make sure that it was safeguarded in case there were storms. With water comes mold, and we spent a considerable amount of money trying to prevent mold in the building. The 1956 building was designed and built in another era, before the electronic age. We're a, basically a paperless department, and one of the problems with this particular building is it was developed during a time when computers were non-existent. The infrastructure, the electricity system, the wiring system is not built for us to be able to transmit that data. It was built as a city hall, not as a police department. In 2009, the City Council approved the construction of a new Center for Public Safety to be built in downtown Jacksonville. The Council intentionally selected a site that used the current location and expanded it to include areas that could benefit from revitalization as part of the effort to improve downtown. The site was targeted for a major structure in the 1998 Downtown Master Plan, which would help create a new entrance into the downtown area. Some of the land was contaminated with chemicals from an old dry cleaning operation. Before 1986, there were no rules to govern what dry cleaners did with their used chemicals. They would just uh, either throw them out into, into the trash cans, um, bury them in the back, or, or dump the solvents down a drain, whether it's a storm drain or, a, um, or the sanitary sewer lines. A process began to decontaminate the soil and stop the plume of chemicals from spreading. Without doing so, the area would have been unusable. Treating the contamination is like dealing with a snake. It does no good to cut off its tail. If you can cut off the head, then the environment can begin to clean itself up. But if you still have any source of the contamination left in the ground, it's going to continue to bleed out. The city council wanted to take land that had been avoided by others and return it to a useful state. Working with the state of North Carolina, the city took an unusable site that was contaminating the new river and turned it into part of the new Center for Public Safety. This commitment to revitalizing part of downtown Jacksonville is evident in all that the city has done in the downtown area in recent years. The construction of the Freedom Fountain, the design, enhancements, and installation of the new Buddy Phillips Bridge, tearing down abandoned or dilapidated structures and replacing them with new, affordable housing, creating a park that hosts Jacksonville's premier festivals and events, recycling initiatives to keep garbage out of our landfill and river, 
rehabilitating Wilson Bay and the New River to bring back sturgeon and other aquatic life, the construction of Jacksonville Landing to cement our city as a fishing destination. The Center for Public Safety is part of that larger story, and it's a building that represents our commitment to downtown Jacksonville, our desire to see it thrive. Businesses are coming back to downtown, families are buying new homes, the entire area is vastly different than it was just five years ago. Imagine, what will it be like five years from now?